Merry Christmas everyone and welcome to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Chasing. I hope each and every one of you had a very Merry Christmas this year. I know me and my family did. And what better way to top off Christmas with a absolutely crystal clear night? Well that's kind of a lie, there's a few clouds rolling over here and there, but besides that, it is very clear out tonight. And the moon hasn't even started to rise yet. So I've got the camera currently pointed at Andromeda. I'm popping off minute and a half shots. I think at 1600 ISO. So far, everything's looking really good. So fingers crossed. To my surprise, it was cloudy most of the day and I came out here just after the sunset. And sure enough, it was just completely crystal clear. Like I said, we got a few just passing clouds here and there, but they seem to be going by pretty quickly. So I'm really excited to finally be getting some data on that Andromeda. I'm gonna go ahead and do the full shebang tonight. I'm, want, I'm getting my lights right now. I'm gonna do darks, I'm gonna do flats. I'm gonna do everything I can. I've also got this new dew heater, finally. And uh, it's just a very basic $16, I think it was, dew heater off of Amazon. And so far it's worked flawlessly. But yeah, I think the plan is tonight, I'm just going to keep on shooting the Andromeda Galaxy here and just kind of see what I can get. Like I said, it's a really clear night. My polar alignment seems to be pretty spot on for once. And hopefully here before too long, I'll be able to say whether or not this is a good budget-friendly astrophotography setup. Alright, so everything didn't quite go as planned, only ended up getting 26 exposures instead of 30 that I was aiming for because some clouds ended up coming over. But that's how it goes sometimes, and I'm glad I was able to get what I could. So I ended up stacking my photos in Deep Sky Stacker for the first time, and actually really like Deep Sky Stacker compared to Nebulosity. And I ended up doing most of my post-processing in Photoshop. Now my end result is definitely kind of overcooked for sure, but the processing is something I'm still definitely working with. There's a very steep learning curve to it that I'm still... It's going to take me a while to figure this part out. But overall, I'm really, really happy with this picture. This is by far the best picture I've gotten for my astrophotography journey so far. And I'm super happy that it was Andromeda. Andromeda is something that's escaped me time and time again. And I'm just, I just think it's really cool that it so happened to turn out to be a really good Christmas gift. And again, I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. I know I sure did. So thank you guys so much for watching this quick video here. It's not exactly what I had in mind for my Andromeda video but I'm definitely happy with the way it's turned out. I don't think it could have turned out any better for my first time with it. So be sure to subscribe and like the video if you like what you're saying. Be sure to share it with your friends, you know, anybody you know that's interested in astronomy and storm tracing. I'm just trying to get this passion out there for other people to see. I'm so happy that everyone seems to enjoy everything I've been putting out there, and that just makes me want to keep doing it. So there's plenty more to come. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoy.